you've only one life and you have to get on with it, you know, you make the most of it. You have to. It was that positive thinking, it was, a th it was an aim, it was a goal. And I, th I honestly do believe that uh, that's what's got him back to the standard he is. Even though he's paralysed totally um, on his left side, that hasn't stopped him. It's, it's difficult. It's difficult. I, I remember I was talking to a lady the other day who who's, had a brother, and the brother was 59, he was, got a stroke. And he just gave up to him. He just went to bed in hospital and he just lay there until he got pneumonia and he died. And if you don't fight, you will die. There's no question about it. We'll try to be positive and try to get out there and find out what there is for you. And don't leave it until you, be, until you get a crisis. You need to find out before the crises happen. I, tr I try and live one day at a time, OK? It may not be the most sensible thing, but it's the best thing I can find. So every day I live one day at a time and I say, OK, today you'll get through. And I do. And the next day it's the same. How do I cope? Not, not very good. Not very good. Some days I go to bed and have a few tears. I have good days and bad days, yeah. Sometimes I don't feel that positive about the future, no. I wonder how long I can go on coping with the situation. My future is just being a carer, looking after him and seeing to him, but it's getting a bit monotonous sometimes, you know. There are days when she absolutely winds me up to the to, to, to breaking point. Um, and if that happens, I, I just I, I go away. Luckily, my wife, uh, she's a carer. She's like, Go off, go out, go out for a walk for an hour, take the dog out, and I like, calm down. I think, you know, it's not my mum's fault, you know. So, but because I, I'm aware of that now, I don't, I very, very rarely let myself get wound up by it. <laughs> the positive thinking about what's going on next week and what's going on in the future. Like, I'm in, I'm in three choirs at the moment. I go to the choir. Uh, the rehearsals, and I find it very, very uplifting. Yes. Yes, I think maybe yes. because I'm working, Dad having that, having yes. to have that bit of independence. Yes. Keeps you going day to day, doesn't yes. it? You know, keeps your brain going. You have to think yes. through the day what yes. to do. You know, you think what to watch on television, and you've got to make decisions yourself. Yes. Whereas if I was there all the time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be making an awful lot of cups of tea. <laughs> In terms of outside the stroke club, we have a little rule, don't we, that we try and get out every day. Right. And we like to go for drives, don't we? Yeah. So we'll take a drive and um, usually there's an end purpose to it. Like, for example, we we'll go to the shops or we'll go to the local pub. That's our sort of joint coping strategy. My grandchildren have helped me enormously um, because they need to be read to and things like that. And, you know, they say, don't say, um, answer me, Grandma, often. I'm getting a bit grumpy now. <laughs> and I don't want to be grumpy, you know. Whoever's looking, the carer, they've got to try and... Um keep their own interests and be able to see if they can get out for just for a couple of hours. Try and put yourself in their shoes. Very frustrating for them. Um, not as frustrating for you, even though you, you might feel like... <sighs> you, you want to think of yourself as not um, 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 somebody um, who has uh, as a stroke, but uh, somebody who wants to do things. There's always somebody worse off. That, that's what I say. Try. Try all the time. Really, you've only got one goal, um, getting on with your life. You have to get on with your life and you have to be as positive as you can be. Being positive does hold a difference. Um, it does make a difference all the time.